What's going on guys, Tracy Mitchell VA. I'm back again with another real, relevant, and resonating interview. Today I'm in Atlanta. I'm at Toon Studios. I have never been here before. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for letting me use your studio so I can go ahead and conduct this great interview with artist Young Dre. Good, what's happening? It's your boy, Plaga. Let's see these chains. How many chains you got on you right now? About three on, you know what I'm saying? You must be heavy right now. Real heavy, all <laughs> grams. True, true. <laughs> Well, your name is Young Dre. I have to ask, where'd you get that name from? Uh, being in the street, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Dre, you know what I'm saying? Young boy running around. Yeah. Jeep going crazy yeah. outside. Yeah, y'all, right now, Young Dre is, per is promoting his song, Everything's Up, and his song, Overload. He also dropped two videos for those as well. So y'all make sure you go check that out. So for starters, um, what you been up to, like, with the pandemic and everything that's going on? Has it been stopping anything you're doing? Like, um, it's definitely been like slowing up shows and stuff, but um, just, you know, staying on top of it, hitting the studio, working, you know, pulling up cities like Atlanta, networking, and, you know, keeping the ball rolling and stuff, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay moving. Mm -hmm. But, see, Florida, we, we kind of never closed, so I've been catching back in in Florida this whole time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On the low. Yeah, before we hit that record button, you were talking about Tampa. I've never been, but you speak very highly of it. So tell me what it's like growing up in Tampa and how it shaped you as the artist you are today. Um, Tampa, you know, it's like any major city. You know, you got your good and your bad that come with it. Mm -hmm. Especially being outside, like, you know, doing what we be into. But other than that, it really like, like Tampa, you just, you like really like not friendly, not too friendly with other people because like when you come from so hard for people to even from your own city to show you love so it kind of rubs you, rubs off like when you move around. So once you break that, I feel like a lot of Tampa artists can move a lot further if they just, you know, got out their comfort zone and network because that's what I did and, and it definitely worked. People definitely respect you. You know, I be looking at the comments on YouTube under your videos <laughs> They love you, they're rooting for you, they're proud of you. They were like, yeah, I knew him growing up. How does that feel? Do you feel like people like really support you the way that you know that you've always wanted? Yeah, for sure. Especially where it, where it started, hell uh, yeah. But like, I didn't think it would be this like 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 how we're doing it now, like independent doing it too. Nah, yeah. uh, it's definitely love. I appreciate all the love. Yeah. Just being independent, you already have a song with like eight. Yeah. You got projects, you got Looks like you have a great budget for your videos. Right. Everything is moving well. What did it take for you to get to where you are today? Um, I heard your music. Some points you talked about being homeless, having to sleep on the floor. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me about the real and what happened before you even like got to where you're today. You know, growing up, when you got your parents trying to make things happen, you got to stay with you know other relatives and you know just always dreaming about this shit not being like that and always being able to give back to the people that was able to sacrifice for you. So, you know, going through those situations what got me so humble. Like, no matter what stage of money, like, you really won't tell what I got going on because I done been through every stage. Like, so now that money comes, it's not gonna change my character. I done been through the most humble part. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel like that's a lesson at the end of the day. How long ago was that when you felt like you had nothing? Um. I would say probably like, so it's like growing up, like go, recalling like having to like move to somebody else's house for the weekend and afford to stay there. So once we like got the entrepreneurship, cause my mom been doing hair for a minute. So my mom, she always been grinding. So she always instilled the grinding, grinding into us. So once you see like, you gotta go through hurdles. You feel me? You're not, like if you start from the bottom, shit ain't gonna be sweet. And ain't nobody giving you nothing. So, you know, you gotta build your foundation up. You gotta go through the hard parts and then things start making sense at the end. When did you know it was safe to get up and start investing money in? Into when this? You know? Yeah. Um, I never really knew when it was safe. I just was doing it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of people are afraid to invest because they're already in a tough situation. They're like, right. I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, that's true. I never even thought of it like that. Maybe if I would've thought of it like that, it probably would've slowed me up. I just found something I was like in love with and just really didn't look back. Just kept going. Yeah, somebody asked me that too, that's crazy. For real? Yeah, 
what do you love most about the music game? Like, what keeps you doing it? Um, be able to do what you want with it. You know, I'm not a I'm not a follower, so I don't follow like no trends. I don't I don't chase no cloud. You know, I, I just do me. You know, what I'm saying I feel like to be in this music game, being able to do you, is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because so much weirdos out here doing shit for cloud and doing things for attention. I can't call them weirdos. Whatever you gotta do to pay them bills, do what you gotta do. But that ain't what I'm on. Yeah. What do they call them? They the um, trollers. Trolls, yeah. Trolls. They be trolling though. I just <laughs> see some street niggas start trolling and blew me like, yeah. damn, breast you too? Yeah. Damn, are you solid? Yeah. I guess. So, songs overload and everything's up. Yeah. Well, can we talk about Everything Is Up? Because I really love that song. Yes. I love it. It's so positive. It's something we definitely need to hear these days. And on top of that, you're on the radio now. Yeah. Things are really starting to really take off with that. Yeah, it's, it's a. It's a crazy situation to be in because like we've been dropping music and just like the streets been eating it up so for the songs to be hitting radio and catching wind like my homeboy he I didn't even know the song was on the damn radio he in Tennessee and he's like oh shit <laughs> boy everything is up I'm like oh damn this shit going up so to see that you know what I'm saying to see the expression on his face he been grinding with us he moved to Tennessee you know I didn't even know he was out in Tennessee he been off the ground for like two years, so for him to catch that at that time, that shit was crazy. So you didn't know that song was going through what it was doing right now? I knew it was, but you know, to see it actually happen genuinely, that's crazy. Um, before we started the interview, I think you said you don't write your freestyle. Is, yeah. that, is that true? Yeah. So remember. when you were doing that song, what space were you in? Was it that you heard the beat and then you're like, okay, I'm going to start saying what I got to say or were you actually going through something? Was I was... um. See, when I go in the booth, it's just me just speaking on stuff that I already dealt with. So it's like, I got so much shit stored in me that I just go in the booth and just talk about it. You know? So I was in LA and I was out there just cooling, just in the studio, I had to get up out of Tampa. Cause I made a song prior to that called Money Dreams where I said I put my city on and it's time for me to leave now. So that was, that was a song, this is a body of work that I did when I felt like that, and I actually left my city and went to LA to go out there and create, because in the city, they, they pulling me every which way. So, you know, I went to LA, and those are the songs that, I recorded like 15 songs. The Overload song and everything else was part of that LA trip. Yeah, um, you have Lil Got It on Overload, and then you have Hot Boy sure. on Everything's Up. What made you want to tap Hot Boy first? Um, I already had, you know, connections with 100K, and then they've been tapping with me. But um, when I heard the song, I was like, you know, I gotta get Drew to film this. Yeah. And and Drew was like, hey man, hot will kill that shit. You know what I'm saying? He put together the play, and that shit, that shit came back the next day. We shot the video in Tampa, and it was a hurricane. And we was like, we was the only people outside. Like, She's like, I wanna get this video though. We wanna get it. Hop pulled up from Miami, you know what I'm saying? So it let me know he was dead ass serious. So I'm like, shit, we're gonna rock out then. What we, you think of the video? Oh, I love it. You love it? Yeah, it's natural. It's just like, you know, feel good, you know, just niggas just vibing. So your chapter with Tampa, Florida, is that closing or, you know? Nah, nah, nah. nah. You're shit. born and raised. Yeah, I'm born and raised in that month. And we done built that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everything that we done been working hard for is paying off now, so I can't let I can't let them run off with it. I got I got call them lanes a little bit. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Okay, okay. So are these songs coming from a project. So tell me when this project is expecting to release. I think you told me the name is The Star Was Born. Yep. Tell me the meaning behind that title and when can we expect it? Um, you know, Star Was Born. You know, Star Was Born. I mean, this is my first album. Like everything else is like a mixtape. I feel like like EPs. And I got hits on them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna really focus my energy to make this the official album. I got a few labels, you know, trying to figure some things out. And um, yeah, stay tuned before summertime for sure. It's on the way. Yeah, it's yeah. on the way. For real. That's lit. So I just want to ask you a couple. Let me go through some of my notes. So. Let's talk about um, your feature with Lil Baby back in 2018. Um, how did that come about? Um, my QC ties, I got ties with QC. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Baby was in the market shooting a um, 
We had a show out there. Mm-hmm. And we locked in the studio. Your thoughts on Tampa, Florida winning the Super Bowl? Uh, everything's up. <laughs> everything's up. Everything's stuck. We, we made history. <laughs> the only city to do that, though. Okay, okay. You're working with Justice League on this new project. Yeah. How did that come about? Uh, Tampa. Tampa Ties. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you work with DJ Plug a lot, too. Is that yeah. you going to be on that project, too? Yeah. No, yeah. I got a few plugs. Okay, okay. And your, your label, YTC, what's the future for the label? Mm. Trillions. Trillions. More millionaires. Yeah. You feel me? Making nothing in a whole lot of sun. You're going overseas in June too. Yeah, YTC. We're going overseas. I'm bringing the game with me. Nice, nice. Sure. Oh wow. Um, Smoke Perk. Is that something you're publishing? You're working with Smoke Perk too? Yeah, that's my boy. Florida, Florida shit. And Rich the Kid and Jay Critch is coming too. So features. Oh yeah, features. Me and Jay Critch just recorded um a song that's gonna be on my project. I guess I leaked that. Um, yeah, we recorded that Super Bowl. Super Bowl, so it happened right then and there. Yeah. So you must have had a good night then. Yeah, it was vibing. <laughs> it was vibing. Shout out Jake Chris. So That's if anybody wants to work with you, what do they have to do in order to get a feature with the Android? They gotta be real first. No cap and none of that. Yeah. And you know, tap in, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Network. So what else is in store for 2021 that you want to go ahead and drop for the viewers and get them hyped for and all excited for Um, we on the lookout for um, my new album, my debut album, you know, you might have a remix to edit things up, I don't know what's going on, it's just kind of crazy right now, but you know, just stay tuned man, follow me on all social media, and stay, you know, stay locked in, you already know YTC shit. Okay guys, be on the lookout for the new project, and make sure you tap in with Overload, and his other song, Everything Is Up, that is taking over all the radio stations across the U.S., Guys, this is Young Dread, Tracy Mitchell VA, another dope, real, relevant, and resonating interview. I'll see you guys next episode.